Yo, what's up, everybody? So look, I just got the new weekend album. It is called Dawn FM. Um, so it's pretty interesting how this whole album. So if you know anything about me, I'm a huge supporter, fan of The Weeknd. And pretty much I've been following him since I was in college. Uh, back in my college years, I used to be very rambunctious. I used to do a lot of, you know, college things. I heard him when he first came out, like when he was underground. And it was before everybody knew about him. And at that time, listen to his music guaranteed you to have some good time with some ladies if you play this music. Because a lot of people was hip to what kind of music he was on and what kind of vibes he really brought. So I uh, appreciate him for that from my college years. Definitely turned me to a virgin, to a superhero. Uh, then he went and started making albums. So I think he remastered The House of Balloons and made his first album, which is Beauty Behind the Madness, which was produced in 2015. And then he came out with Starboy and After Hours then Don FM. So there's, he has four albums I see right here on Spotify. And it's kind of interesting how his progression is going and how he's telling his story. It seems like he's following the tr just traditional storytelling where you start not knowing much at all. So I think in his case, his is really about like partying, drugs, and like just living the high vibe life. Then he slowly became into a superstar. Once he became a superstar, I think everything from there started changing. And I think Star Wars is like his adaptation to become a superstar with the, 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 the good and the bad. Then After Hours is what she got to stardom. It sounds like he regressed and he's starting to lash out at the notoriety that he got from his fame and pretty much losing it and kind of talking more about the mental effects that comes with fame. And I feel like Don at film, which is very weird, high key with the, with the, the, the older face. It, it was, I don't think nobody expected that. And the fact that he did it was super cool. Um, it sets the tone. It sounds, it seems like it's gonna be very sad. You can tell by the colors. As a photographer, I can kind of tell by the, the, the blue colors that he's using. He's setting the tone for this album to be very serious, sad tones. Ironically, when he posted about it, he's talking about this album is supposed to be healing people or the music is to heal. So I don't know. Um, it seems like he's talking about acceptance of death and that the end is coming. And he's talking a lot about his growth as a person, as a man, as a human, of what he used to be and maybe the reason why he, he is the way he is, talked about the things he talked about was his sex, drugs, and all that stuff. And this is like a whole album of reflection of his experience. So I don't know. I wonder if this is like his last album. I don't know how artists really normally go about it, but it seems like this is like the final album. I'm not sure what you can do after this, maybe a rebirth. So pretty much you die and then re you're uh, reborn. I don't know. It's going to be very interesting what happens after this. Um, the first take I heard this album, I'm kind of like, eh, not the biggest fan of it. Uh, but I do think the meanings are very strong. The The message is very strong. This, the quality of the music is really good. Um, I, I think I can't really bump with it right now because I'm in a different space of life where I'm not as dark about my emotions. And I used to love the music for that. But I do have a part of me that respect the music for what it is. And I'm going to listen a couple of times and see what kind of weekend energy he brings out of me. But um, so far, I really love the album. Um, you know, check it out. It's on Spotify. Um, let me know what you think because I'm a huge Weekend fan. And if you're a Weekend fan, let me know too. What do you think about his stories? I really want to get into like the last album he had. Like, I feel like that was super in detail. Like, I feel like there's a huge story behind it. But it also seemed kind of very random at the same time. I don't know why artists to do that. Maybe to keep the mystery, to keep talking about it. But I feel like he should drop an album or just drop a project explaining the storyline behind um, what is it? the story of After Hours. Because I feel like the production he did in his videos were absolutely amazing. So, um, yeah. Let me know what y'all think. Uh, <laughs> all right, cool. I, just, I wanted to share that. It came out today. So, yeah, let me know. Listen to it. Yeah.